In his 60th year, my father, the great Pharaoh Ramses II, knew his days were drawing to an end. My father went to the great temple of Abu Simbel to ask the god Amon-Re to prolong his reign. To utter his request, Pharaoh had chosen that unique moment when the sun penetrates into the deepest part of the temple. Hail to thee, Amon Re, Lord of the thrones of the double kingdom who resides in Karnak. Usamatre, Setepenre, comes to thee, O God. Give me thy heart, lend me thine ears, save me every day, lengthen the days of my life. God's answer was, you shall rule until the season of Achet in your 80th year. But for that to come about, you must erect an obelisk, the most majestic pure stone monolith of all time, before the season of Shemu. Only one architect in the kingdom of Egypt, Pazer, was capable of accomplishing this unique exploit. Work began, but very soon strange accidents started occurring on the site, and my father, the pharaoh, sent a young woman, a magician, to protect his undertaking. I should begin my investigation by interrogating Pazer, the great architect. Hello, I would like to meet the great architect, Pazer. Where might I find him? Please tell me in what capacity you present yourself before Jer, supervisor of construction for the great architect, Pazer. Of course, oh great Jer, overseer of construction. My name is Maya, daughter of the high priest Harriman, and it is Pharaoh himself who sends me. Uh, but, uh, can you prove that you were sent by Pharaoh? What a joy to receive a messenger from our Pharaoh, who is beloved by the gods. Would you be so kind as to point out to me where I might find the great Pazer? Certainly, of course. You'll recognize his residence easily. It's the only priest's house with a decorated lintel. Thank you, Jer. Here's Pazer's house.
Good day, Pazer. My name is Maya, and I've been sent by Pharaoh. You must have been told I was coming. Certainly, Maya, and you are welcome. I knew your father, Harriman, very well, and I trust you completely. I know that he transmitted to you his exceptional mastery of magic. What can I do to help you? May I inspect the worksite and ask the workers questions? Of course. Go where you will. Just show the seal that Pharaoh gave you to justify your mission. Could I ask you a few questions? Certainly. What do you want to know? Describe the accident that has so weakened you. A stone fell from a scaffolding in the Apostol Hall. I've never seen such clumsy workers, nor such slippery stones. Pharaoh is very concerned. Without you, the obelisk won't be able to be raised. I struggle with all my strength, but alas, I'm unable to get up. Is there an architect capable of replacing you? Pharaoh doesn't know of any. Unfortunately, I am the only one with the knowledge necessary to erect the biggest obelisk ever built. I'm told that no doctor has been able to cure you. That's true. All attempts have been in vain. Some unknown fire is devouring me. Thank you, Pazer. What do you think of the accidents that are occurring on the site? I don't know what to think. I made all the customary offerings to Amon Re. Will the temple be ready to receive the obelisk dedicated to Amon Re before the season of Shemu? Those who are in charge of the site will know how to decorate the temple of Amon Re, but the obelisk is far beyond their capacity. Isn't your assistant experienced enough to set up the obelisk? The obelisk is gigantic. No one besides me can attempt raising it, as I am the only one with perfect knowledge of the book that fell from the sky and the secrets of the builders of Ray. Pharaoh won't live if you don't erect the obelisk Amon Ray asked him for. I know, and that thought saps whatever strength I have left. Thank you, Pazer. Do you think that my gift? Clairvoyance will enable me to see what the greatest priests have been unable to perceive? I think so, Maya. I seem to make out a divine power in you. End these accidents, please. You are our last hope. Do you think I'm strong enough for this mission? Pharaoh chose you because he has faith in your purity. He can't trust either his family or the high priests or the magicians. There are many who envy his power. I'll let you rest now. Hello, I am Maya, Pharaoh's envoy. I would like to ask you a few questions. Huh? But how can you prove to me that it is indeed Pharaoh who sends you? Oh, how wondrous! It is Pharaoh's seal! May the orders of our beloved master be carried out. I if you want my opinion, I'm not surprised by all these accidents. I dreamed the other night that I was on fire. What do you know of the accidents that have occurred recently? What do I know? Why, I predicted them! I dreamed that everything caught fire! What's the cause of all these accidents? Cause? I don't know. All I know is that I predicted them. Did you see Pazer's accident? 
No. Luckily for me, I make bricks. Stones don't fall on me. But without Pazair, this obelisk will never be built. That's as certain as if I had dreamed it. I thank you. Have you noticed anything abnormal around the work site? Abnormal? <laughs> abnormal. No, no, nothing. Everything's collapsing, the head of construction is dying, Pharaoh's going to die too, but everything is normal. Was any one accident more suspicious than the others? Oh, that, yes. In the Nows, there's something weird. Those who work there fall sick. I dreamt of that as well. The wheat died as sprouts. Did you notice any strange details? Oh, yes. Every sign of a curse. Suspicious accidents, incurable illnesses. What do the workers say? The workers don't listen to me. They believe it's all just bad luck and that it'll all be fixed with amulets. But it's the end of Egypt. The whole kingdom is going to collapse. I thank you. See you soon. There must be some trace of those strange accidents left. What's this? There's a cartouche missing. This cartouche bears the name of the god Amun Re. This cartouche bears the name of Ramses. This cartouche. I sense a secret passage behind this wall. It's strange. I found a piece of a rubbed-out cartouche in the temple. It's crazy to find fragments of bas-relief lying about everywhere. I found one too, and it's got no business being in a temple to Amon Re. Here, take it, since it interests you. This piece goes with the one I found. Who could help me put the two together? Could you put the two parts of the cartouche together? Yes. If you think that will ward off the curse, give them to me. Could you put... Yes. There. I've glued back together the two pieces of the cartouche that you gave me. triggered some mechanism. The cartouche that I set on the Naus seems sealed by a spell. It's impossible to remove it. It's the entrance to the crypt. It's too dark to go in. I might fall.
locked in. I'm locked in. What will happen if the obelisk isn't built? I must attempt the impossible to prevent this sinister prophecy from coming true. Torch has gone out. I opened the entrance to a crypt in the Naos. Did you know it existed? That crypt should never be opened. It contains precious objects that were placed there during the cornerstone laying ceremony for the temple. The whole building rests upon that crypt. One of the objects deposited in the foundation held a curse. I had a vision. What did you see? When I touched it, I saw the obelisk shattered, and the pharaoh dead. Oh, then it must possess a fearful spell. Show it to me. Ali. What do you think of these foundation deposits? Among them, I find a fragment of an amulet that wasn't included in the deposits in the foundation of the amon Re temple. I had a vision of a curse contained in the amulet. It was meant to destroy the temple of amun Re. We are fortunate that you were able to see the invisible, and that you removed this from the temple. It is harmless now. I saw a typhoon of red sand whirling into the destroyed temple. Alas, what a horrible prediction. Your gifts for divination are mighty. You alone can discover how to avoid this tragedy. How could the amulet have been placed in the crypt? This is very serious. Some powerful magician, either a man or a spirit, introduced this dangerous object into the magical foundations of the temple. Thank you for your advice. 
I need your advice. By setting a cartouche on the nows, I opened the crypt. Now it is impossible to remove the cartouche from the nows. It must be purified with a benevolent spell. It won't be able to resist that. My magical powers are limited to clairvoyance. It is true that you are not a priest, but you deserve to learn this right. Take this magical jar and pronounce these words when you use it. Be purified by this offering. Come back to see me when you have sealed the crypt. I must entrust you with an important mission. Be purified by this offering. I've destroyed the mysterious cartouche. Now I have to close the crypt again. The crypt is resealed. Now back to see Pazer. I have sealed the crypt. Thank you, Maya. Thanks to your clairvoyance, the temple is cleansed of the curse. But the negative forces are not vanquished. I am still sick, and the obelisk must be raised. What was that mission you told me about? You must bring the documents concerning the raising of the obelisk to my assistant, Uni, at the Aswan Quarry. That way, he won't need me with him. What are those documents? The documents are very precious. I put everything I know into them. But I've only had time to explain the quarrying of the obelisk, not how to raise it. Where are the documents? This stone will enable you to find them. They're in my workshop, hidden behind Imhotep. It seems as if this statuette can slide. Can you take me to the granite quarries of Aswan, where the giant obelisk is being extracted? Of course. 